In this video, I'm going to give you the best gun bunch setup in the entire game. What's up guys, my name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, and you don't know what I do on YouTube here, basically what I do is I break down Madden 21 tips and tricks. We break down videos that are designed to help you get better at Madden. And so if you're looking to get better at the game, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen we're going to jump right in today and i'm actually really really excited to share this with you because i really think that the meta has just massively shifted in the uh madden community now what i, what I mean by that is it used to be the meta this year so far has been trips tied in and has been you know spread a little bit you know different things like that now i want to show you that bunch is if it if it wasn't already back it is back right now after this latest patch a lot of people uh, have been talking about uh, how they killed cover three beaters they killed cover three beaters they made cover three better i'm here to tell you that right now cover three might be the worst coverage um, that you can run if you're playing gun bunch we're going to talk about exactly why that's the case uh in this video so again if you haven't subscribed to the, to the channel yet make sure to do that by clicking that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen now, if you have any questions about the video that I'm going to be breaking down today, go ahead and text me. My phone number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. And also, when you text me, it allows you to get access to my text message membership, which is where I basically break down free, full meta schemes every single week. We've got the Gun Bunch Offset in there, the U-Trips, the Spread, the uh, Cluster, the Big Nickel Over G, the 335 Wide. A lot of the meta schemes we already have for you uh, in my text message membership so if you haven't already picked that up it's completely free go ahead and hit me up via text message okay guys so cover three sky drop and i've, I've showed you my coaching adjustments <clears throat> we kind of use some of the most common coaching adjustments in the entire community um and in the entire game with that so now what i want to do is i want to talk about gun bunch and this is out of the new england patriots offensive playbook now in my opinion new england has the best pound for pound playbook in the game it has the most create it has some of the most simplified things it also has some of the most complex things and deep things so if you want to get my new england patriots offensive ebook the gun bunch is one of the key formations in the ebook and that link is in the description of this video all right so the plays that we're going to set in here is we're going to put corner strike in there we're going to put pat sale pat's curl flat and pat's verts and then Really what I want to talk about today is the importance of corner routes from Gun Bunch now. With the latest patch, they basically took corner routes and said, okay, corner routes, you are now the most powerful route in the entire game, and Gun Bunch has some of the best corner routes, and in particular, this Gun Bunch out of New England has, in my opinion, the pound-for-pound -pound best corner route in Madden 21, which is the Pat's Curl flat play, and we're going to talk exactly about how to run this. Now, the one thing I want to encourage you to make sure you have is slot or route tech on your guy. I have Chris Godwin, so I'm able to do that with the Bucks. But you don't have to do that. It's just something that I think is really, really important. So that being said, let's dive right in. So first and foremost, you want to run your bunch to the wide side of the field. If you run your bunch to the wide side of the field, so basically you just flip it if you're on the right hash, um, it is going to be absolutely insane. You are going to realize very quickly how good this corner is. So I'm just going to run a standard cover three. And we're not even going to worry about the flats right now. I'm just going to run two simple routes. I'm going to max protect. I'm going to put Brown on a streak, and I'm going to smart route Godwin. That's it. That's literally all I'm going to do. And I want you to watch Chris Godwin right here. You're going to notice that there is no one in his zip code, and that's going to be an automatic laser for your offense. Now that's 25-yard curl flats with an outside third. Um, on the on that side of the field now I want to show you some Mabel coverage we're going to shade coverage back do some different types of adjustments and I just want to show you what happens again all we're doing is streaking Antonio Brown and we're putting uh, Godwin on a smart routed corner route here we're going to pass lead him up click on and as you can see there Jair Alexander made the play of the century on that ball that probably wouldn't have even been a pick that would have just been a simple um, it would have just been a, a, a simple uh, whatever you call it a little uh, you know incomplete pass there but right here, I just want to show you this one more time. So again, now, again, we're going to max protect, and I just want you to show you this corner route. And we're going to talk a little bit more about it as this play goes on, but as you see right there, that's what we're looking for. You're going to click onto the receiver, and you're going to basically swerve catch it on the sideline. Now what I want to talk about is I want to talk about a couple of things that we can do with this play to make it even better in light of the most recent patch. Now a lot of times the way that we would run this play is we would smart route that route. But now I want to suggest to you that it might actually work a little bit better to let it run its default depth. That default depth is super, super deep. It's about a 15 to 20 yard corner route um, right before it cuts. And what you'll see is when you run at its default depth, zone drops do not stand a chance 
at being able to hang with this route. Now again, one thing you have to realize about the cover three, especially when you talk about the Packers cover three, is my man Jair Alexander has an ability. It's called deep out elite or deep out whatever, deep out KO. So he's going to play this really, really well. But even he is not going to be able to stop this. Again, as you see right here on the sideline, easy read and easy dot. The reason this matters is because now what I can do on the offense side of the ball is let's say that they're playing curl. Let's say that they're playing Tampa 2. Right? The defense might say, you know what, I'm going to run Tampa 2. I'm going to try to stop this. Um, and really, I'm going to even go a step further, and I'm going to go ahead and run Tampa 2 with a Mabel coverage. I'm going to put that curl flat zone out there. Now, again, just want to watch this real quick here and, sit and notice when I don't smart route this route, you're going to see that it gets even deeper separation and even more wide open against the coverage. As you can see right there, not able to stop the, the, the play. Now what I want to do is I want to share with you just a simple Mabel coverage. We're going to make a couple of adjustments here. And we're going to back both our flats and our curl flats back to 30 yards. The reason I want to do that is because I want to show you that there's not that there, there's it's not that there's nothing they can do, but there is like very little that they can do to stop this. So again, we're going to come out Pat's curl flat. Same thing here. Now I'm going to leave that that route at its default depth and I'm just going to standard cover 3. And this is a 30-yard purple. 30-yard purple, click on, same exact result on the sideline right there. Now, one thing that I would recommend, um, the one thing I would recommend with this, and let me just show you, like, let's say you smart route it. If you do smart route it, you will notice that smart routing it still works. The only problem is smart routing it, in my opinion, um, takes away a little bit of the big playability. Now, if you want to smart route it, let me just show you really quickly one thing about this. If you see that they're over the top like that right there, just passing that on the sideline. Click on and just take your, you know, 35, 40 yards um, on that corner route. The next thing that I want to suggest to you is if you don't smart route it, what you're going to notice is I think you get much, much better um, separation. So, again, you see just hard right pass. They click on and you're going to make the catch. Now, again, just a reminder, Jair Alexander has deep out elite on him. Now what I want to do is I want to share with you two other specific corner routes from this formation. The first one is this corner strike corner route. Now you notice that it is very similar to the Z spot. The one difference is it's from the outside player. I actually think that makes a major difference in terms of how this is going to work because I can motion him out and basically get him, you know, unbumpable. And as you see right there, 30-yard purple zones cannot cover this route. The beauty of this is now you have multiple routes that really can get open from multiple receivers. So they can't just, the solution that a lot of players would have, the solution that a lot of players would have with this is they would just man up the slot. That's what they would do. They would just be like, okay, we're just gonna man up the slot and that's gonna be it. That's why this play right here matters. That's why this corner strike play is so powerful. And that's why New England's bunch, I think is the best bunch in the game. As you can see right there, it gets outside and he's able to catch the ball on the sideline. This matters. This is a huge, huge deal. And the reason why is because, again, not very many bunches in the game have this corner strike play. But because of this corner strike play, is so this corner strike play just became, I think, the best play in Madden. And the reason why is because zone drops don't cover that. Zone drops don't cover that corner route. That makes it, and the thing, the, the even bigger thing about it is, watch this. I can motion him out and snap him right about there. And look at this. I, I know the corner. I know that Jair Alexander played it right there. He's not going to play it in a game. If you go into a game and run this, he will not play it. He plays it a little bit better in practice mode than he plays it in the game. So just be aware of that. But again, you don't. Ha they can't cross man you now. Now they can't cross man you, and it's a, literally an absolute dot because they can't cross man either one of those. They would have to run man coverage on both of those. Now, really quickly, let's say that they run man coverage on you. If they run man coverage on you, this is this is why Pat's Curl Flat is so good. If you smart route Godwin, streak Brown, and then you can do whatever you want with the backs, watch what happens with Godwin right here. He's going to get that slot-o-matic ability, click on, and as you see, he's going to be able to go. Now, one of the things that's even more important than the smart route of that is the fact that deep halves, deep halves don't get out there. They don't go cover that route. So, for example, if I wanted to do the same thing out of court corner strike, um, it's not going to work as good uh, if Antonio Brown, but you'll see here, I mean, this is, again, you know, Jair Alexander has acrobat, so understand that. If I were to put that, like, if I were to have Devontae Adams running that route right there, 
that would literally be an absolute laser. And the reason why is because, again, if you have a receiver that has over 90 deep route running, which if you're playing mutt, most of your receivers at this point will have over 90 deep route running, that route will absolutely torch man-to-man -to -man coverage. Absolutely torches man-to-man -to -man coverage. So that's a lot um, that really can help you. Now, we're, one last thing I want to share is is the um, – the one last thing I want to share is is something like a corner strike against cover two. So let's say they run cover two. Same thing. All you've got, you see this corner route will absolutely kill cover two over the top. Those are 30-yard cloud flats that that is beating consistently. Consistently, it is beating 20-yard cloud flats. I think that's insane. The same thing is true out of Pat's Curl Flat. If I go to Pat's Curl Flat and do the same setup that I talked to you about earlier with just leaving that streak on its default depth, Cover two has no chance at stopping this, and you're going to get a ton of yards. The reason this matters, guys, the reason that this matters is what has just happened is corner routes have just become the meta. They already were kind of the meta. Now they're really the meta. And this C route, by the way, let's say I wanted to run this little C route. The same thing is going to happen. Watch this. Everybody's out of the way. Everybody's gone. There's nobody in the there's nobody in the vicinity to guard that route. Really quickly, I want to share with you one little thing. Again, you're gonna see this all over. This 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 latest patch might have made zone terrible. Might have literally made zone the worst decision you could play in Madden. It improves man coverage and decreases the likelihood that people are going to run zone coverage. I personally hate it that they just did this, but. Um, you know, we have to adjust and we have to grow and we can't just complain about it. So, anyways, Pat Sale, I want to show you one thing really quickly here. So, this is this is five-yard. I have five-yard uh, flat zones. Watch this. This is why New England is now the best bunch in the game because they have three different corner routes and they're all really, really good. So, watch this route. This C route to the outside. Watch this. See this? Look. There's nowhere, there's nowhere they can get over there. There's nowhere they can get over there. The reason why... Because they have to already drop them back at 30 to even have a shot at stopping the at stopping the deep corner route. So now they're running Mabel coverage. And now watch. This is just the fade to Godwin. This is just the fade to Godwin. I'm not even using a flat zone. Look at this. Wide open. Wide open. Easy laser. Easy laser. Easy laser. Easy laser. So now what has happened is Madden has basically said corner routes is the best route in the game. Corner routes are now the best route in the game. If you can find corner routes, that is the secret to your success on the offensive side of the ball. 100% Madden has literally just made corner routes the best route in the game. And the beauty of this is it's not just it's not just corner routes. I want to clarify, and this is why Bunch is... You're about to see everybody switch to Gun Bunch if they don't fix this. Everybody will switch to Gun Bunch if they don't fix this. I want you to watch what just happened. That's Pat Sale. This is Pat Sale. This is one of the plays that was... It was probably the number one play in Madden 19. Skimble ran this play and won the Madden Classic um, with this play. This is the one of the best plays in, bun in bunch history, right? Now it just got even better because watch, watch what happens. Let's just say they're in a cover three. Watch what happens to the deep blues. Watch this. There is nowhere... Look at this. There's no, there's no way for them to stop the post route now. The outside third does not come down on the post route. And I think I audible on accident to come forward. I just want you to watch one more time. And again, you, you can max protect. That's what makes this so good. So you can max protect and run this. Watch. There is nothing. There is nothing the defense can do now to stop that read. That deep, late, late, deep post route. It is borderline impossible to stop. This makes crossing routes even better. Um, I mean, I can go on and on. But, like, if they run a crossing right now, just watch this. Um, let me let me reset the play here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put Brown on a crossing route, and I'm going to flip the play. Right? A lot of us have tight end apprentice that we could do this with. So, now watch. Brown's on a crossing route, and then I'm going to have that corner route on this side. And this is just cover three. Watch what happens here. The, the deep blues are going to go, 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 go. And they're not going to guard that right there. They're not going to guard that right there. So, my point is... Start building around not just bunch. I'm not saying you have to run bunch or you have to switch to bunch. What I am saying is we just got blessed on the offensive side of the ball with the latest patch. Yes, you can't score in one play as much anymore. But I'm telling you, I don't even care. Like, this this route combo on this, like, this is now the best route combo in the game. 
This is now literally the best route coming in because the streak runs everything off. Everything goes off with the streak. So no matter what you do, you know, this is just something that you can, you know, again, you can take it um, or you can leave it. But if you want to, you know, get the best offense in the game, I think the New England Patriots just became even better than it already was um, with the with the latest patch. Real quick, you know, obviously one of the things that you have to understand with New England, um, especially with New England's gun bunch, it does help it a ton if you have um, – if you if you have hot route master, if you have hot route master, New England's bunch is is really really hard to stop. Like New England's bunch will be the best bunch in the game if you have hot route master. I guarantee you that, hundred uh, percent, because you can create routes like this route right here to Mike Evans. What, what watch this? There's just nobody there. <laughs> There's just nobody there. Like it's wide open, and so you trips New England. It's awesome. Pick it up in the description if you want to get the full ebook. Um, I'm telling you right now, we spent a ton of time in the ebook talking about the gun bunch, the newing, and the U trips. Like cover three just took a major, major hit. I think you're going to see people shift more to man coverage. I think people are going to shift more to cover two. I personally am going to shift more to cover two, and then I think cover four might actually make a comeback. But that's what I got for you guys today. Um, we're going to be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock. If you want to come see me run some gun bunch. Definitely going to be running some bunch tight end tonight. Really, really excited about um, where the offense is going right now. I feel like my offense is really coming together, and it's very simple and easy to execute. So, again, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Grab the New England ebook. Link is in the description. If you want to get a free sample, text me. My phone number is 812-216-3644. My number is also in the description. Text me if you want to get a free sample to the ebook. But the New England ebook is the best offense in the game, especially after this latest patch. Link is in the description if you want to get the offense.